whenever you shut a narcissist down and you go no contact, you cause a narcissistic injury because you challenged their false self. All right. You said that their false self is not perfect and they are not the most desirable person in the world and that you don't want the abuse and that you are no longer addicted to them and that you don't need them. Okay. And this makes them have to um, sometimes look at their self. Although they probably won't, they will go on with a new supply and forget the whole thing. But if they cannot get a good source of supply and they run low, they run the risk of collapsing. Okay, so when you cause this narcissistic injury, they're not going to like it at all. And they will seek revenge on you. Now, I am not telling you to be scared about this, but I am telling you that you need to be warned that once you shut a narcissist down like a boss and you go no contact, that your best position and your best stance is to hold on to that decision. Don't waver. Don't go back and forth uh, deciding that you want to get rid of them and then unblocking them and reaching out to them and then blocking them again and playing this little game. Because the more that you do those sorts of things with them, the more that they are going to want revenge on you. Okay. They don't see it as you protecting yourself from the abuse. They see it as you harming them. Keep in mind that some of the narcissists, you know, well, narcissism, um, is about power and control, but it's usually stemming from the fact that they've had some childhood trauma and some of that trauma is abandonment, okay? And do not feel sorry for the narcissist. For those of you who are wondering if you can help them, you cannot. Your best bet is to save yourself. And I mean that in all seriousness, they can be very devastating to your life, in so many ways, health, health related, um, child custody battles, all types of things where they will throw you under the bus and have no problem lying on you um, in court under oath will not hesitate to throw you under the bus. Doesn't matter what you've done for them or how many sacrifices you've made for them or whatever. Narcissists don't care about any of that. So what you want to be mindful of is that they will seek revenge. And what this revenge might look like is they may decide, well, you know what? This person wants to cut me off. I tell you what, I'm going to sweet talk them. I'm going to bring them gifts to their job. I'm going to lure them back in. And then, you know what? Since I've got all these um, sex partners and they have picked up an STD, I'm going to pass this on to them. Now take that. You know, all STDs are not ones that you can get rid of, okay? Or their motive might be, you know what, since they did that to me and they want to walk away, guess what? I'm going to reel them back in and I'm going to financially devastate them. So I am going to have them get property and it's going to be in both of our names and somehow I'm going to swindle them out of it being in their name and I'm going to take over everything. And you won't see this. You won't see it. They, they'll be calculated with their mischievousness. Remember, they've been doing this for a long time. So it's not something you're going to pick up on quickly. But I promise you that they have a plan. And the plan is not, I'm just going to keep abusing this person like I normally was most likely. If you cause a big enough narcissistic injury, they are hunting you. And they are going to, they're going to plan to devastate you so that they will always feel like they are in a position of power and control over your life. Because if they devastate you financially and you have to pick up all these pieces and put it back together, or they have a child with you and you're stuck with them forever dealing with them on some level, they have basically found a way to control you forever to some degree because they're not just going to go away. It's like an some type of infestation that you don't want. Like think about having an infestation of bed bugs, okay? That's something you don't want. 
and it would be hard to get rid of and you would have to uproot your life a little to get rid of it. and you'd have to keep, um, you know, keep getting things fumigated and throw away things and all of this. Well, that is what the narcissist is like. It's like having an infestation of something that you don't want that just stays and lingers and doesn't go away. And if you cut them off and then you let them back in, expect that they will want revenge. They will seek it and they will not care what happens to you. Okay. You've been warned, starve the narcissist, lock them down, shut them down. No contact like a boss. See you my see you next time my beautiful narc free family. Bye bye.